Hi everyone, today we are going to be looking at how to answer 12 mark questions. Our learning objectives for today's lesson are to gain an understanding of how to answer a 12 mark question about two production features in one professional work. Your extra challenge is to include convincing interpretation and evaluation within your writing and your literacy focus is to use subject specific terminology with accuracy. Today, we're going to look at how to answer 12 mark questions in section C. In your exam, you will only get 12 mark questions within section C, which will be based upon the six professional works that you learn. The 12 mark questions that you will receive in your exam will require you to interpret and evaluate. There will be two 12 mark questions on the exam paper in section C. The first question will be based on two production features and one work, which is the type of question we are going to learn today. The other question will be based on one production feature and two works. Let's start by reading the 12 mark question. Discuss how the costume and oral setting in infra contributes to the choreographic intent of the work. When you get the question in your exam, you need to do two things. You first need to highlight the key words in the question, and then you need to word dump around these words. Have a go at highlighting the key words. I have highlighted the words discuss, costume, oral setting, infra, and choreographic intent. These are the most important words in the question. The question requires you to discuss. This means that the question requires analysis, interpretation and evaluation. You next need to word dump examples around the words costume and oral setting. You need to make sure that you look for the name of the work. In this question, it is infra, which means that you need to write down examples of the costume and oral setting in infra only. Once you have completed that, you then need to word dump examples around the choreographic intent. What were the choreographer's intentions when creating the piece? It is crucial that you remember all of this important information for the exam. Remember, the choreographic intention of a work is the aim of the dance or what the choreographer aimed to communicate. The choreographic intention can include reference to the mood, meaning, idea, theme or style of the work that you're looking at. Instead of using the KEC structure that we use for six mark questions, we are going to use DICE or D-I-C-E for 12 mark questions. In 12 mark questions, rather than having a writing structure, think of DICE as your ingredients that you can vary depending on the question that you are given. Your ingredients are D for describe, I for interpret, C for contribution, and E for evaluation. As a teacher, we often hear, how much should I write for this question? The answer is always quality over quantity. However, when looking at the full mark examples that AQA have provided us with, they include around six to eight descriptions, three or four for costume, and three or four for oral setting, three interpretations, six to ten contributions, and three evaluations. Here are some sentence starters to get you thinking about how you should write 12 mark questions. When writing your description, you need to say what you can see or hear in the work. When writing your interpretation, you need to use phrases such as this suggests, this portrays, this may allude to the idea of, this creates a sense of, one could infer from this example that, this could highlight the idea of, this implies, perhaps one could interpret this as. When writing your contributions, you need to link it to the question that you were given. You could include phrases such as, this contributes to, and because. When writing your evaluation, you need to use phrases such as, this is important because, this is effective to the audience because, this creates impact because, this is significant because. Make sure you include these sentence starters 
in your writing. Here are some tips when writing your 12 mark questions. There is no need for an introduction or conclusion. You need to get straight to the point as you need to remember in the exam you only have a minute a mark. You should always start with your description. For example, in Infra, the males wear flesh-coloured ballet shoes and the women wear flesh-coloured point shoes. You should then choose your next ingredient. Following on from the description, I'm adding a contribution. This contributes towards the style of ballet. Then, add your next ingredient. Following on from the description and contribution, I'm going to add an evaluation. Point shoes are effective as they elongate or distort the line of the leg and add sharper and faster dynamics to the dancer's footwork. Finally, you should add your next ingredient. For the question that we have been looking at, I could not think of a good interpretation. You should therefore move on to the description of the oral setting. Lastly, when writing your extended sentences, you need to alternate between the two aspects that you were discussing. For example, your first extended sentence is on the costume. Your second extended sentence is on the oral setting. Your third extended sentence is on the costume and so on. This will ensure that you cover both aspects in case you run out of time in your exam. Now I have introduced how to write a 12 mark question, it's your turn. Your question is, discuss how the lighting and oral setting contribute to the choreographic intent of Alina Kerber. This question is worth 12 marks. Attempt to write this 12 mark question. As you are writing it, or at the end, colour code your dice, or description, interpretation, contribution and evaluation in four different colours. This will ensure that you are on track and will reduce any waffling. Remember, think of dice as your ingredients. You can mix them up where appropriate. I would advise always starting with your description. Next, can you think of an interpretation? If not, move on to your contribution. You want to aim for at least three interpretations in your writing. It is really important to make sure your contribution links to the question. If you really want to impress, can you think of two contributions from your description? Lastly, can you think of an evaluative point? Now that you have written your 12 mark question, where do you think that you are on the marking criteria? Make sure you choose a mark band. You will receive one to three marks, which is a level one, if you have included a simple description of one production feature with some detail. There may be no use of subject terminology. For example, the set is bare and the lighting is dark to create a scary mood. You will receive four to six marks, which is a level two, if you have been analytical, interpretive and give detail of both production features. The response is supported by some evaluative explanation, but it may be general. Subject terminology is used with some accuracy. You will receive seven to nine marks, which is a level three, if you have included a coherent, detailed, analytical, interpretive and evaluative responses, which is specific to both production features. Subject terminology is used well and is almost always accurate. You will receive 10 to 12 marks, which is a level four, if you have produced a structured piece of writing and includes convincing, analytical, interpretive and evaluative commentary that references both production features in detail. The subject terminology is used throughout with accuracy and effect. Be sure to give yourself a mark and figure out how you can improve to get a higher level or higher mark. Well done for today's lesson. We have looked at how to answer 12 mark questions. I hope you have gained a greater understanding of how to answer this type of question in your exam.